Connor, what a bummer of a way to go out, man. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. It's a shame. Uh, did you know ahead of time or what was your reaction when you, you found out? <laughs> Yeah, no, it's funny. Actually, Sienna was the one to tell me about it because um, she had seen the whole script and I hadn't yet. And she asked, she said, do you want to know what happens to you? And I was like, yeah, yeah, tell me, tell me. And she's like, you die. And I'm like, ah, oh, that's okay. And she's like, and you get shot by your mum. And I'm like, oh, what? Like that, like that's, I mean, you know, just couldn't have thought of that in a million years. So I, it was actually quite exciting for me when I heard, I was looking forward to getting to shoot that. Um, but yeah, obviously a bit of a bummer, but hey life goes on not for simon but you know yeah. <laughs> for you for you yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh you know sienna i feel like billy has the roughest tran- transition in new raccoon city and then on top of that in the first episode she gets bit so i was wondering if you could talk a little bit about filming that dog scene and what was, what was that like for you <laughs> i there's nothing that you can do to prepare for something like that you know you, you can sit there all you like listen to music or write whatever you need but you get there on set and then it's a guy in a green suit who's like pulling on you (laughs) and it's supposed to be this bloody gory, you know, uh, Doberman, but it was honestly really freaky because I was, I was super nervous to shoot that scene because obviously that's a huge, you know, Resident Evil scare, but that scene with Tamara and I, I think that was so fun to play off of. We barely had any time though. I do remember that. Yeah. It, It was yeah, it was a night intense. shoot and we only had that like that uh, place for like a night. And yeah, that yeah. Was, and we were very lucid and tired. 2 a.m. Um, yeah. Yeah. And then I love Tamara, your character, Jade. It's, I mean, even in the future, she's headstrong. She's bullish. She just gets what she wants. What was it like to like dive into this role? Did you do some research for about Resident Evil or did you just kind of go off the script? Yeah, I did do a bit of research about Resident Evil. I watched people play the games and, you know, delved into, you know, the Wesker family and their kind of legacy. Um, But I think what I mainly went off of was like the uh, blueprint of, you know, her character in the script and then kind of built off of that because I think it was really exciting for me to really just have this fresh off the bat character who, you know, has been referred to before, but you don't know her. And so it's really fun to add my own little twist to that. And I just think it was so much fun to adapt to her and like make her this just really fiery girl who just like knows what she wants, because I think it's really different to what you would usually see in almost like a horror and a Mm -hmm. thriller. Um, And I think it kind of almost brings a comedic stance to the the, uh, scary scenes as well, because she's just like, what the hell is going on right now? And I kind of love that. Um, It's really fun to play with that. Definitely. And then, you know, both of your characters, obviously you have your future counterparts. And I mean, to me, it was uncanny how similar you guys both were to your future, future uh, characters, you know? So I was wondering, did you guys, uh, did you and um, Tiana work with uh, the other actors or how did that come about? Was that just pure luck? We, we definitely tried to make time, but it was definitely difficult on an offset just because when we were working, they weren't and vice versa. So but we had the time to watch each other in the table reads. I know you, we both met with our older selves to just sit down and talk about like the certain mannerisms that you share, right? And yeah. timelines. Yeah. yeah, most definitely. Um, yeah, I think for just the four of us, it was about finding that perfect balance and just that sprinkle of something that's, you know, the same. And it was just making it genuine and not like super repetitive and just... It was just keeping it real. And I think the way that we did that was keeping a lot of the similarities within our relationship in both timelines, which was really helpful. Definitely. Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much for your time today. I really appreciate it. Really enjoyed the show. 